What is the crack lads and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be starting a brand new series in which we take a look at the best players per position for all budgets. So it doesn't matter if you've got 5,000 GP or 500,000 GP. We're going to give you an option of who we think is the best player in that position no matter what your budget is. So first up, we're going to be taking a look, at, a look at goalkeepers. And obviously, you know, we're going to be taking a look at all the different price bands of where you're going to be looking to, to filter the goalkeepers. So from zero to 5,000, all the way up to 600,000 plus, uh, we're going to be giving you an option for every single filter here. So huge shout out to Sepp and his Discord for uh, getting a lot of the recommended goalkeepers into this as well and for testing out a lot. So let's crack on with our first goalkeeper. So first up, we've got Brad Guzan, Brad Guzan, Brad Guzan, whatever you want to pronounce his name. I'm not the best at pronouncing names, but I do like to try. God loves a trier. 193 centimeters, right? He's got low punt, he's got captaincy, and he's got long throw. Again, look, he's 4,900 GP. Don't be expecting De Gea or Allison or Donnarumma. Don't be expecting these guys if you're signing him, even if you train him up to the mid 70s. I mean, he is what he is, but I think he's an absolute beast for a sub 5,000 GP in that price range. He's got really, really, really nice attributes for like, you know, his reflexes. He's got goalkeeper awareness 68. You can bring them up to the to the mid 70s very easily after a couple of games with his training. He is an older player as well, so you do want to probably match him with an older veteran coach to get the boost for his XP. Next up, we've got Forster, Fraser Forster, who plays, of course, for Southampton. And this guy is a, is a bit of a unit. I mean, he's 201 centimeters, which is very, very tall for the goalkeepers. He's not going to be troubled by a high ball. Um, he's not the most agile of keepers. He is probably one of the slower keepers. But he does have penalty saver, low punt as well. Low punt is, is so, so nice when you get used to it. It's very hard to go back to a high punt. He does have long throw as well. He's in the 5,000 to 10,000 uh, GP price range, the second filter. So I definitely recommend him to, to fill that gap if you do have anything between five and 10,000 and looking to upgrade your goalkeeper. This guy is West Ham's keeper, Ariola. He has been very, very, very well recommended to me by Sepp and, and, and the Discord, Sepp's Discord, who helped out with this video recommending a lot of players. Again, huge shout out to those boys who've tested out a lot of the keepers. And his stats, I mean, looking here on paper, don't look anything magical. They don't look anything spectacular. But, you know, his reflexes are really, really good. He's got low punt, long throw, and penalty saver. He's got 70 kick and power, 70 jumping, 70 physical contact. This guy is a perfect base for, you know, you putting your own stamp on him and customizing what way you want his stats to go when you do progress and do the training with him. Next up, we have got AC Milan's Mike Magnan, or Mike Nan, Magnan, Mike Nan, tomato tomato but anyway he's 191 centimeters the french keeper playing for ac milan in syria now this guy does not have low punt but he has been massively recommended to me by sep and by a couple of other people as well goalkeeper awareness low 70 74 goalkeeper catching parry and reflexes and reach all at a very good base without even doing a bit of training. And again, for that price range, lads, 50 to 100,000, this guy is only going to cost you 75, 76,000 GP, which I think is, is on the lower end of your budget here if you've got that much money. Similarly, Simone here, this guy uh, is Athletic Bilbao's keeper, as far as I know. He's got low punt, high punt, and long throw. So he doesn't have penalty saver. He's, he's not the quickest. He's not the tallest option that you're going to be getting here. But in that price range of 100,000 to 300,000 GP, you are going to be getting a really, really good keeper for the cheapest. He's the cheapest option in that filter system there if you if you do search. And he's, again, he's a beast. I mean, he's, he's a very, very good solid keeper. With a little bit of training, you can get him all into the goalkeeper stats around 80 and overall. Donnarumma. So this is probably the, 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 the highest recommended keeper I would get. Now, look, if you do get Oliver Kahn or you get one of the Legends keepers, if you are watching this video in a couple of weeks time or, you know, a featured uh, player, obviously they they kind of you know subside or supersede them but i think the base standard players that you're signing with gp donnarumma i think he's my personal goalkeeper on my main channel my main squad i think he's the best by a mile he's got the height he's got the weight he's got the strength he's got the speed in terms of like his stats don't look that fast but he never he's always able to rush out he's not rushing around a place like a lunatic like Neuer who's a similar price range and he's got 81 reflexes which is huge as well now we're going to take a quick look at Oblak here over on eFootballDB as well I'm going to show you how they kind of compare 
Um, Oblak is obviously, you know, 690,000 GP. So you could pretty much buy every other keeper on this list combined, you know, and still would have money saved over from buying Oblak. I don't know, is he, is he somebody that you should go out and buy? Now, look, there's no disputing. We are on eFootballDB.com, link in the description below for the player database. There's no disputing, right, that Oblak is like an absolute monster and his stats are incredibly good if we go in here and we take a quick look like he's 81 goalkeeper awareness catching is high clearing is high reflexes is high he's tall you know he's he's probably not as fast i don't think on the pitch as don aroma it doesn't seem to be as fast even though the stats are similar but he is really really good at shot stopping and that is the thing is like do you want to spend nearly double on a black over don aroma so when we go into the comparison tool here on eFootballDB, we're going to take a look at their base stats, right? And we're going to scroll down here to see kind of what stats we're going to be rocking with. Now at their base, obviously Donnarumma is 83 overall, Oblak is 86 overall, right? So, you know, it doesn't take Albert, Albert Einstein to see that that's higher. Oblak is higher in all his stats here. But even though these player levels, we are still working on these player levels to get these player levels up and accurate the way that they level because it's obviously customizable you can you know you can train up Donnarumma a lot differently than I could train up Donnarumma and vice versa uh, we are still working on the player levels but this is just a rough kind of gauge and this is kind of how the players will level we think in Master League it's kind of like a, a kind of a, a gauge of how they level if you both boost them up to level 89 overall you can see that Donnarumma starts to kind of pull ahead the only thing that lets him down is his awareness and his catching right so i think it's kind of a personal thing but for me i just genuinely do not know unless you have got gp to burn and i mean that you're the monty burns of dream team 2022 i just cannot see why you would want to sign a black ahead of donnarumma you could get donnarumma and a top class center half for the same price as a black so that's just my two cents lads and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video uh, we'll be back with the left backs the right backs and the center backs throughout the week if you've got any tips for me, if I've messed up on one of these selections, let me know. Get a, get a involved in the comments below. Huge thanks for all the support so far, and we will be back quite soon. Peace.